G'day blokes and chillers, today we're going to be looking at the four models of the Quadro Type 66 that you'll come across in Night City. Starting with a fan favourite, the Gen Rally. This car is a modified Type 66 and has been changed to look like the General Rally Type 66 from the movie Dukes of the Badlands, a popular film in 2061. The car remains largely the same with the original parts. Let's talk about the performance. Weighing in at a little over 1.7 tonnes or 3,800 pounds, with a horsepower of a naughty 666, giving you a top speed of a 180 with a 0 to 60 time of 3.25 seconds and a reverse speed of 42, the general's pretty badass. Its off-road capabilities, however, given that it has racing slicks on, it leaves a lot to be desired. It doesn't really handle too well off-road. In city, however, it handles much, much better. It's able to get around corners a lot easier and you're able to handbrake around corners and actually control the vehicle. It still does spin out a little bit though because it's a rear wheel drive, so it does fishtail every now and then. Now the exterior is painted in a bright orange with the trademark 01 on the side and a modified front end giving you push bar. And of course, with it being factory standard, the boot is big enough to store a load of guns. As for the interior, it's a typical Type 66 styling with black and red color scheme. Now if you're interested in the Gen Rally, I'll show you exactly where to get it. Find this location on the map and for a smooth 58,000 eddies, a good fistful mind you, uh, and a street credit of 20, you can make this yours. It is a collector's item after all. Moving on to the Cthulhu, it's a bit of an odd car. It's a modification of a Gen Rally, which is already a modification. So it's a bit of a Frankenstein, but it's metal as hell. Modified by a Mr. Sampson seen in the racing scene, this definitely stands out and I'll be releasing a video on how exactly to get this car. But in the meantime, let's move on to performance. Coming in at the same weight as the Gen Rally at 1.7 tons or 3,800 pounds and with the exact same horsepower of 666, I think Mr. Sam's is actually running the fuel a little bit richer to get the little bit extra performance out of it. Now the top speed of the Cthulhu is 185, slightly faster than the Gen Rally and a 0 to 60 of 3 seconds flat and a reverse speed of 42. Now as for its off-road abilities, this is where the Cthulhu really shines as it's very good off-road and it's quite as good as the Javelin which will get to in a moment um, but still very very good as for its inner city performance it's the polar opposite of the generality with it feeling very very slippery and needing a little bit more control again it is a rear wheel drive so it tends to fishtail a bit now the exterior is very similar to the Gen Rally with the three biggest changes being it's matte black, uh, it has a giant wing on the arse end of it and it's got off-road tires. Due to the large wing on the boot it cannot be opened but you can use it to store stuff still. As for the internals with it being a modified Gen Rally uh, it's still base level so that's what you'll get. It's base level interior. Now to get this vehicle it's pretty particular but I'll be releasing a video shortly to help anyone find this vehicle and be able to get it for free uh, as well as the beast and I will also be showing how to actually buy this vehicle if you make wrong decisions. The Cthulhu can be bought for 76,000 eddies, a good fistful of eddies uh, and I will be showing that in a video to come. Next is the sexiest Type 66, the Avenger. Released in 2075, celebrating 20 years of the Type 66 line, making it an absolute standout. So let's get into the performance. Weighing in at only 1.75 tons or 3,858 pounds, a slight increase over the previous two models. However, it boasts 777 horsepower, giving it a top speed of 190, a zero to 60 of just under three seconds, around 2.9, and a reverse speed of 34. Seems like they forgot to install the same reverse speed. Now off-road, the Avenger is a fish out of water. It slides everywhere, you're not gonna get any traction, and given its larger sides, it bounces off every divot in the ground and just wants to flip. As for its inner city handling, it is good, but not great. Given its large ass, it tends to get stuck and bump into things. So you're not gonna be threading the needle between cars as often with this vehicle, given its greater ass. And it's, so it's much more of a statement piece than an actual performance vehicle. Of course, being a rear wheel drive, it spins out and fishtails a lot, especially if you get airborne for a brief moment when you come back down to earth and your vehicle struggles to get traction, it will slide everywhere. As for externals, you'll notice that the front end has been done up. There is a wider body kit on the entire thing. It has been painted a nice shiny chrome color and there is a fat ass low spoiler on the arse end. 
as well as the high-end rims. As for the interior, you get a few more monitors to watch the engine, but overall it's the same as a normal Type 66, because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now I already bought my car, but I'll show you exactly where to find it on the map. You can have your very own for 55,000 eddies. Not too bad, and only needing 20 street cred, it's pretty good for this beauty. Now the Javelina, a Type 66 that the Nomads got their hands on and heavily modified to be an off-road beast. Starting with the performance, weighing in at a hefty 1.85 tonnes or a little over 4,000 pounds, the Javelina is a bit heavy, but it's due to the modifications that we're going to get to. The biggest one being the 1,000 horsepower motor that they put into the guts of this car, giving a top speed of 190, a 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds, and a reverse speed of 42. Off road, this car was made for it. It absolutely digs into the ground, you have traction almost the entire time. It barely slips and it was built to be an off-road beast. In a city, it's largely the same with it sticking to the ground like glue. And it's really good at getting around tight corners and given it's slightly smaller build, it can fit between cars or get through narrow corners. Now externally, you can notice that the car has been heavily modified from the front fenders missing, uh, custom front and rear ends, and heavy duty off-road tires. Also, with it being a Nomad car, the windows have been replaced with Crystal Dome, making it a very fast tank. The mods don't stop externally. Internally, the car looks very different to other models, starting with the steering wheel, the dials, and a lot of the other switches that can be seen above that monitor the power to the crystal display almost everywhere has been modified in some way much as i love the cthulhu the javelina is the superior type 66 in night city and i'll show you where to get your very own now if you go to this location on the map you'll find the javelina there for 73,000 eddies not bad price really for what you're getting you're getting an extremely heavily modified type 66 which rules the road uh you will also need 30 street cred along with it as well because it's a missile on wheels so they're not going to give it to anyone and there you have it all type 66s you can find in night city no one bothers with the base model so that's why you won't find it in night city and on that bombshell of truth thank you very much for watching be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell button as I do up upload fairly often and be sure to check out my other socials like Twitter and Twitch. Thank you very much. Catch you in the next one.